hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new if you're a returning subscriber you are amazing uh, if you're new my name is noni i'm a mom youtuber based in abuja nigeria so in today's video we are going to be making soya bean powder this is a weight gaining food for kids like you can add this to their pap you can add this to their tea you can even make it as a drink soya bean drink add milk to it and they will drink it it will be very very nourishing and uh, sweet for them so what i'm doing now is i'm currently picking out the stones from the soya bean soya bean has a lot i would have been a lot of stone and so many different different funny funny things if you're buying it from a local market like i did so these are all the, some of the things you will see inside the soya bean powder so i'm currently picking out the stone from the soya bean powder Soya bean is very very rich in vitamins, proteins, and the fiber, the essential minerals and the nutrients that kids need to grow. So you should try including this to your kids' diet. So these are the stones that I picked out from this soya bean. So we'll go ahead. The next thing we're going to be doing is to go ahead and uh, wash our soya bean pour it into a bowl and then pour some water to wash out the dust in the soya bean yeah it is really really dusty so it's something you take time this is the step that is a little tasking because you need to pick the stones one by one and then also wash it out so when you wash out the soya bean after washing it out and you're sure that it is clean will be pouring it into a pot you wash it and put them into a pot and uh, after that you i'll be adding some water i'll be putting this on fire this is the easiest way and the fastest way and the safest way to make soya bean for kids so put it on fire to on a low heat to heat up and it's not like it's going to be boiling once it starts making foams like this you carry it down immediately and sieve out the water from it. You don't allow it to boil because we are not cooking this soya bean. So once you see that it's starting to form, you turn it around. Then you pour it into your sieve. So once you pour it out, into your sieve the first thing you need to do is to pour it cold water instantly just to stop the thing from cooking so i'll just rinse it off with cold water then we'll begin the next process which is removing the holes of the soya bean so this is what it looks like after steaming it on fire then we'll go ahead to remove the holes just the way you do beans you remove the holes of beans when you want to do moi moi or akara that's bean cake so this is how i'm going to be removing the holes of the soya bean gradually so you can see the holes those things that are coming out from the soya bean So I had to change the bath because the one I was using was too small. So this is what it looks like. You continue to do that, rub that uh, soya bean, soy bean together so that the holes can pull out from the body of the soya bean because we don't need the holes. The holes are those things that looks like chaff, chaff, <laughs> that, those are what is called holes. So we are going to continue rubbing it together continuing this the, the same process to make sure we get all of them or almost all of them out so once you notice that the holes are almost or all out 
you pour enough water into it and sieve it out use a sieve for this you can see my sieve you sieve the water into the sieve reason because some soya bean will most definitely follow the water and go out so you will sieve it out. this is what the char for the whole looks like after you wash the soya bean and this is what the soya bean looks like after you finish washing them so well, after this you just go ahead and uh, spread it out in a tray and put it under the sun or a place where sun enters either by the corridor of your house where sun enters so that you can it can dry up the water in it and will continue so this is it after drying this is what it looks like after drying the so yeah, I mean, it is totally dried now. You can see it's already evening. I did this in the morning and before evening it was dry. Then the next thing we are going to be doing is to roast it on a low heat. You can see the flame of my gas is very low. You put it in a pan, a fry pan and uh, roast, not fry, you roast it. So you roast it on a low heat. You keep stirring it on a low heat. so once you keep roasting it keep turning it you will notice that it is no longer cold the way it was when you put it and another thing it is no longer like is a uh, it will just become very dry when you touch it at the feel of it it looks like dry you not know the way you rice is when you touch rice that's how you should feel and the color has changed it's no longer the original color that you it was when you put it on fire so you know that it's getting ready. Another thing, if you like your soya bean to be brown, like when you want it to be brown, that means you have to roast it for a long time so it will be very brown because it is from here that you get the color that your soya bean will take when you after making the powder. So for me, I don't like my own to be so browny. And I like it to be like light color so you can, when you add milk, it will just be very like soya milk. So I once I notice that the water is dried up like this and it is moving on the pan freely like uh, sand or rice dry rice is moving so that's how you know that the soya bean that particular one is ready to be removed so what you do you just take it down from the fire and the uh, continue you can see the color has changed entirely it is brown now the color has changed so you just take it down from the fire and the Pour it in a tray pan to make sure it gets cold because you, you're not going to be blending the, this while it's a uh, very very hot. If not, it's going to have some moisture in it and it will make the soya bean to be go to go bad. So this is me frying the second set of the soya bean because it's plenty and the uh, and the uh, um I can't fry everything at once so you have to take it small small this is like nine cups of soya bean this is what i'm this one i'm trying is nine cups of soya bean so it depends on the quantity you're making but this i'm not only using it for the powder i'm going to be adding it to my children tom brown which i will also be uploading the video of how i make the tom brown so you can see the color is also changing now so after that the next thing you do is you grind it so in this grinding now when you're grinding it if you want to add if you want it to be very sweet if you want it to be sweet now you add sugar as you're using uh, nine cups of a uh, if you're using my measurement which is nine cups of soya bean the what you'll be, you'll be adding like four cups or three cups of sugar to eat so that it will be very sweet so you add a pinch of salt that is all you need but me i am not going to be adding anything because i'm making it for a baby and i've not started introducing her to sugar yet so after blending it what next you do is to sieve it the sieving is not really necessary but i just wanted to show you that when you sieve it you almost get nothing out but look at it after the sieve and this is what it looks like after the whole process so guys go ahead and enjoy your soya bean add it to your children pap add it to their their tea or make it as a drink for them to drink it is very healthy nutritional and helps them to meet their maximum growth so after the whole blending process go ahead and store it in an airtight container 
for preservation where water will not enter and uh, keep it in your cabinet or wherever you keep your provision and you're good to go thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this please like share comment subscribe if you're new click the bell notification so you don't miss any video and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching